While TV talent shows are an excellent platform for new talents to become known, out-of-the-box abilities are rarely found even in these productions. That being said, young ventriloquist Darcy Lynn's participation in America's Got Talent not only changed the expectation of what to see in these types of shows, but also demonstrated that nothing's impossible for people who really work hard to attain their dreams. Becoming a sensation in the world of ventriloquism and singing overnight was quite an accomplishment, but Darcy's popularity and ability to inspire others is rarely heard of in today's entertainment world is what really made her so unforgettable. So what exactly has she been doing since America's Got Talent ended? After becoming the youngest winner in the history of America's Got Talent in 2017, lots of great things have come to Darcy Lynn. Her unbelievable talent as a singer, ventriloquist, and general entertainer has given her lots of media coverage in shows such as The Ellen DeGeneres Show, Today, and Nickelodeon's Unfiltered. I got a problem. A problem? Yeah, ever since you got the golden buzzer, I, I fell in love. With Darcy has also completed several successful US tours, such as 2018's Darcy Lynn and Friends Live and My Lips Are Sealed in 2021. As well, Darcy has debuted as an actress with appearances in the series Side Hustle and Fancy Nancy, along with co-starring as Brooke Mays in the 2022 Netflix movie A Cowgirl Song, which was Darcy's first big screen feature. Mel B! Oscar, I think your bigger problem is she's a human and you're a mouse. Well, I didn't think that would be an issue. I mean, Heidi was married to a seal. <laughs> and allowed her to deeply connect with her character for whom she co-wrote the song Just Breathe on the film set. It's just that journey of being kicked down and realizing, okay, you know what? I just got to trust myself and to trust my heart. She said in an interview with Beautiful Ballad. Mel B. This is for you, baby. And roll my dear girl since, since you went away. Don't you know? I'm... Also in 2022, Darcy celebrated her 18th birthday in October and matriculated from high school. She's definitely doing as well as ever nowadays. Fame, money, and a juicy musical contract are just a couple of the great things that America's Got Talent has in store for its winners. But getting there is a hard path, which usually takes many years of preparation, even for those who are extremely talented. Nonetheless, one of the things which makes Darcy Lynn's victory so special is how young she was when she participated in the show during its 12th season in 2017. Was stuck in the elevator with the singing Trump! Alright, now, where is that Simon Filler? And he's right there. Oh my. Her comedy filled ventriloquist act with the song Summertime from the opera Porgy and Bess gained her a golden buzzer from the judge Mel B, and the audition's video trended on several online platforms. Her second appearance introduced the audience to her puppet, Oscar, a mouse which sang Who's Lovin' You by the Jackson 5 with her. But Edna, what about the age difference? You're so old he could give you a heart attack. Oh, don't worry, Darcy, Simon knows mouth to mouth. The heartfelt interpretation gained her another standing ovation and a direct pass to the semifinals, where she performed You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman by Aretha Franklin added to a comedy act with her doll Edna Doorknocker. 
Darcy's impressive act advanced her to the finals, singing with a little help from my friends by the Beatles and two puppets. Lastly, Darcy sang Anything You Can Do from the 1950s film Annie Get Your Gun and won the show, happily becoming at 12 years old the youngest person ever to do so. Just two years after her memorable America's Got Talent victory, Darcy Lynn returned to prove her talents, this time in the spin-off The Champions. You make me feel so good Despite her wonderful interpretation of Nutbush City Limits by Tina Turner, Darcy was unfortunately eliminated from the competition after ending second in the audience's voting. However, Darcy's performance left such a good impression on the judges that she was elected as a wild card to return for the show's grand finale. When she sang the opera, O Mio Babino Caro, accompanied by her puppet Petunia. The act immediately sent her to the finale, where her performance of Barry Manilow's Can't Smile Without You secured her a big percentage of the audience's votes, defeating big names in the competition such as Susan Boyle, but still losing to magician Shin Lim. Nervous! I, I hate dress rehearsal! Um, um, Oscar? Yeah, this is live. What? <sighs> Despite her second place in the competition, she was pleased with the experience. It was incredible. I never would have thought I'd do that. Being second best in the whole world is a cool thing, she told the Oklahoman later that year. While Darcy's fans would have wanted her to win the competition, it's undeniable that she did a great job. What you do? Regardless of the end result, becoming famous through a TV show is a great start for anyone looking for a place in the entertainment world. That applies to the hugely talented Darcy Lynn, even though her beginnings as a performer weren't as easy as people assume. Born in October 2004 in Oklahoma, Darcy Lynn's farmer's love for singing was evident from her early childhood. I will try not to sing out of key. But her shyness was an obstacle in her way. Thinking that pageant competitions were the perfect way to overcome her timidity, Darcy's mother signed her daughter up for some events which didn't require makeup or extravagant dresses. Slowly but steadily, Darcy's fear of performing in public became a thing of the past. Using some of her early developed talents, such as gymnastics and singing, to win several important contests. It wasn't long until Darcy was introduced to ventriloquism, rapidly learning the art, and mixing it with her love for singing and acting to create something unique. The one to inspire Darcy in following this path was her fellow beauty pageant contestant, Larissa Bonaquisti, whom she met in 2013. I just watched and watched her. I was just super fascinated because I really wanted to learn how to do it. She said in an interview with The Oklahoman in 2017, Despite winning important pageant contests, Darcy Lynn wasn't quite there when it came to ventriloquism until 2014. Her 
first experience in this art came when she joined the Edmonds Got Talent event in her native Oklahoma, surprising the judges with her skills at singing and yodeling. At the time, Darcy had practiced her ventriloquism act by herself for barely a month, but that didn't stop her from winning the competition. And more importantly, attracting the attention of professional ventriloquist Gary Owen, who helped to improve Darcy's natural talents. Nonetheless, Darcy didn't gain nationwide fame until she appeared in Little Big Shots in 2016, performing Patsy Montana's I Want to Be a Cowboy Sweetheart, along with her cowgirl puppet, Katie. Look at all these people! Hey, all of you up there, up there, up there, up there! Can you hear me, hear me, hear me? Her viral performance eventually opened the door later that year to setting foot on the stage of the International Ventriloquists Convention at the Vent Haven Museum, becoming at age 12 the first child to ever do so. By sharing the stage with famous ventriloquists such as Kevin Johnson, Darcy's name quickly gained recognition. and another important appearance on TV, this time on the stage of the British version of Little Big Shots. All of these performances spread the word about Darcy's talents and were a more than great start before setting foot on the stage of America's Got Talent less than a year later. Following her victory in America's Got Talent in 2017, Darcy Lynn became one of the most acclaimed new acts in the US. Her headline show in the Las Vegas part of her prize was sold out in no time leaving no other option than to add additional dates, on top of becoming popular enough to be invited onto the Ellen DeGeneres show soon afterwards. Another one of Darcy's important media features was in the video The Haunted House on Dunham Hill starring professional ventriloquist Jeff Dunham, making a special appearance in Terry Fator's Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Show, and singing at A Very Pentatonix Christmas, headlined, of course, by Pentatonix. As her popularity grew, Darcy started her tour, Darcy Lynn and Friends Live, initially planned to end in early 2018, but extended by public demand to 2019. <laughs> Simon? Now, Edna, you said you wouldn't bring that up. The next couple of years saw Darcy performing in Madison Square Garden, Caesar's Palace, and appearing in 2018's Kids' Choice Awards. In April 2018, Darcy made her long-awaited comeback to Little Big Shots after two years, performing the Isley Brothers' song, Shout, with her puppet Oscar, already famous for its appearance in America's Got Talent during her run. He doesn't call me anymore! I believe I'm lost in the third good. And I'm just like a song and bright my day. Oh, that's pretty. Ventriloquism surely requires lots of skills when it comes to acting. So it's no wonder that Darcy Lynn eventually proved her talent in this art as well. Her first role was voicing Daisy for the animated show Fancy Nancy in 2018 also making a brief cameo that same year in the drama series This Is Us. In 2020, Darcy played a double role by voicing herself and her puppet Petunia in the episode Too Many Dummies. Now it all seems light years away. And you, you know she can't smile without you. I can't! She can't smile without you. Of the TV cartoon show Scooby Doo and Guess Who. Then she was the Wombat, a store check for whom the Side Hustles cast worked in its first season episode. Although Darcy kept away from acting while her tour My Lips Are Sealed was in progress, in 2022 she took back her role as Daisy and Fancy Nancy in two episodes of the third season. You only knew what I'm going through. I 
While Darcy's roles had been a good experience altogether, so far, her most important acting job has been in the movie A Cowgirl Song, but there's a lot of expectation as she's to appear in the yet-to-be-released Reagan, a Ronald Reagan biopic in which she plays the role of a young swimmer whom the former US president saved in his youth. All in all, Darcy seems to have a very promising acting career ahead of her. Despite her otherworldly talents at singing, Darcy's original music repertoire is quite limited to date. Her earliest official music release is Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree, a live cover album from the NBC Holiday Show, My Hometown Christmas Special in 2018. In 2022, her repertoire expanded with Just Breather, an original song from the movie A Cowgirl Song, which she performed with the folk band The Imaginaries. She had me going crazy, oh I was starstruck. She woke me up daily, don't need no java. She made my heart pound. It's gonna be when I see her in the street or at school on the playground. But I really wanna see her on the weekend. Members Shane Henry and McGee McClure co-wrote the song, which was a new but learning experience for Darcy. They've been writing for years, and I'm super new to this. I only started two years ago, so it's fun to see their perspective on everything. She told the website Beautiful Ballad, while Darcy hasn't revealed much about her songwriting processes, in late 2022, she took her fans by surprise with Someone Wake Me Up. An original song she performed on an Instagram video, describing it as a way of getting something off my chest. The song hasn't been officially released yet, as with several of her original songs she usually performs in her ventriloquism shows, but it wouldn't be far-fetched to think Darcy is possibly planning on releasing music projects in the near future. Despite winning her America's Got Talent season at only 12 years old, Darcy Lynn has managed to keep her young celebrity status without controversy. Becoming an inspiration to others through her actions and talent is a huge deal in itself in the entertainment industry. But even someone as scandal-free as Darcy admits that the way hasn't been easy for her, especially when it comes to her religious views. It's hard to be a Christian in this business. It's very pressuring, and it's not that cool. She said in an interview with the Alabama Baptist in 2022, Tight schedules and long tours are usually hard to handle, but Darcy does her best at keeping in touch with her church, and admitted that she's considering including her faith in her career. Over the rainbow, why then, oh why can't I? 